What is going on you guys? This is Ryan back in on the Madden 15 Ultimate Team video and just for logging in today You're gonna get yourself a Marshawn Lynch card pretty much similar to the Brandon Marshall and the previous card which was a uh, Richard Sherman, so we got an 81 overall Madden season Marshawn Lynch here short pass style 86 speed 82 agility 80 awareness 87 acceleration 88 carrying 91 ball carrier vision 73 elusiveness which is his lowest stat and then 92 trucking so not bad 86 speed 92 trucking pretty decent carrying for a marshawn lynch that if you don't have a running back he'll definitely fill in nice for you win some solo challenges win some head-to-head -head season games and build your team so if you take a look at the coins in the top right corner of the screen right now you can see that we do have just about a million i do have a bunch of reserves i'm still trying to sell and you know what that means guys it means it's finally time for pack and play so starting tomorrow i will have the very first pack and play video of Madden 15 up on my channel. We're going to go ahead and do the pack opening, set the lineup, and then I'm going to start playing some games. And we're going to go right back to what we were doing in Madden 25 and go full force on pack and play. So definitely, you, you guys have been waiting for a while. I told you it would take a little bit just to get my coins right, just to ensure I'll be able to do my main account and my farm account, which will be the pack and play. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, I even sort of considered maybe doing it on my main account and not having a good team all year. Just run my pack and play. But I'm not sure if I want to do that. I kind of do want to have a good team at some point. So I will probably just do two accounts. Um, but right now I'm just showing you some new things that are in the game. We have the new signature cards, what they're going for, and if there's any snipes on them. Uh, right here we saw a one for 2k when it's actually going for 5, 6 and 7k that's actually a decent buy um if you guys were looking at this and you guys were seeing that um i would definitely recommend you guys buy it and then sell it for a little bit more because these cards are going for a decent amount of coins of course signature edition cards uh the base sets are always going for a decent amount of coin and you could probably make a little bit of a profit if you flip them um the tyron walker is a really common card i see it pulled a lot and it's actually going for a decent amount of coins right now. But the main point of the video, of course, was about pack and play. Giving you guys the announcement that is that is coming. And then right now we have a Paul Warlow, which is the new rising star. And Paul Warlow is actually a really good um, you know, middle linebacker. He was really good in Madden 25 when that card came out. It was a really nice budget squad player. I think it was a final edition. And now we have his card right here for his rising star. 83 speed, 92 tackling, 85 block shed, 87 pursuit and 72 zone that's definitely going to get upgraded as you upgrade him in the set i'm not too sure what his stats are going to look like if you do that but if i do end up doing the set i definitely will show you that uh we're going to go ahead and just open up a little bit of packs here make the video a little bit longer just talk a little bit about what i'm going to do with pack and play i pretty much um have come to the conclusion that i'm going to do uh for every single win i get i'm going to open up a pack and then if they rage quit at any point during the game i'll count that as well uh just so I don't have to spend too many coins per, you know, like let's say I win by 14. I don't want to have to open up two packs and continue to do that the entire time because I'm going to keep running out of coins. Uh, it's better to do just one pack per win and then have a little bit of special things going on in the playoffs, like two packs per playoff win, three packs for a Super Bowl. I think that's completely fair, and that'll save my coins throughout the duration of the year. And we're going to see how good we can actually get the team uh, at the end of the year. We're taking a look at Matt Asiata here, the starting running back of the Minnesota Vikings, because Adrian Peterson is currently dealing with some legal trouble. And I don't even know how he starts. He's very, very slow. He's more like a fullback. I'd actually want to start Jarek McKinnon if I was the Vikings. Um, and then, wow, we get a Dante Hittner right here, 85 overall Dante Hittner of the Cleveland Browns. 88 speed, 89 power, uh, hit power to be exact, 81 zone coverage. Pretty good card. Um, one of the better safeties in the game. But that's pretty much it, guys. We are going to start Pack and Play tomorrow. Hopefully, you guys will enjoy that. And for those of you who may not know what Pack and Play is, if you, if you haven't really seen what I was doing in Madden 25 or, or what Pack and Play really is all about, basically, you open up about 10 packs to start off. You build your team from what you get out of your packs. And then for every single victory, you open up a pack and you upgrade your team with the players only from the pack. You can't buy anything on the auction block. You can't trade. You can't put up anything for auction. Whatever you get out of the packs is what you use to upgrade your team. So I'm going to have a lot of fun with that. I will catch you guys tomorrow. Peace out.